you're welcome to my channel let's look at the reasons why lending rates in uganda are sticky downwards why is it that the lending rates in uganda really go down really decrease they just keep increasing and all that yeah the first reason is high operational costs for example banks have to pay workers they have to pay them salaries they have to pay commission they have to pay tax they have to pay rent and very many other things they have to pay electricity and all that so high operational costs make them sticky downwards they cannot just decrease since they also have a lot of things to cater for another thing is absence of long-term finance for, for for example the people in uh, you know in insurance companies yeah they 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 they, they give lo lo loans but on a short term basis since they they the money that they lend you is also not theirs yeah, so absence of long-term finance also makes the lending rate high or sticky down ones another reason is you risk borrowers most of them even lack collateral yeah and banks experience high NPLs so that risk borrowers most people do not want to pay you you, you can borrow someone you can lend someone and they decide to disappear and they die something like that and when they, they did not even have collateral security so the risk borrowers they make the lending rates in uganda stick it downwards yeah another another re reason is uh, the oligopoly banking structure oligopoly is when there are very many firms but a few firms dominate a few large firms dominate the sector so in in, in uganda we have those big firms that the big banks that dominate whereby other small banks depend on them for example stan big bank centenary bank if they set their interest rate even other normal banks like finance trust they will just copy them so the oligopoly ba banking structure in uganda makes the lending rates in uganda stick it downwards another reason is high litigation costs due to inadequacies of the judiciary so if if uh, if the borrowers refuse to pay back you're supposed to take them to court and taking them to court is so expensive so the high litigation costs or legal costs make the lending rates in uganda stick downwards another one is inefficiencies inefficiencies in land and company re re registries in that they cannot easily give you the information that you want and another one is cumbersome solvency laws for for example in in a bank when a customer brings in money they are supposed to they are supposed to keep 50 percent they are supposed to keep 50 percent as cash in the in the business they are supposed to give 30 percent as reserves to the bank of uganda then they are supposed to leave only 20 percent for credit so they, they end up no, no, not having what enough money enough money to give the what the borrowers yeah so cumbersome solvents laws whereby 50 percent is supposed to be left in cash 30 percent is supposed to be reserves and the 20 percent is the one that is supposed to be given out as credit yeah so those are some of the reasons why the lending rates in uganda are sticky downward or they rarely go down yeah. thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment